And we are back showing you another live look of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket and Cargo Dragon here at Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center. Yesterday's launch was scrubbed because of weather. We're going to try again in just about 14 minutes. Thank you for waking up with us again this sat sat Sunday morning. I don't know what day it is, guys. I'm Megan Cruz with NASA Communications, live from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Today's launch at 3.14 a.m. Eastern Time is SpaceX's 23rd cargo resupply mission for NASA to the International Space Station. We are again simulcasting this live show on NASA TV and on SpaceX's webcast. Let's bring in Andy Tran now live from SpaceX's headquarters in Hawthorne, California. Andy, I know you're also hoping for some better weather today, and it looks like we have it. Yeah, we are definitely continuing to keep an eye on the weather. If it does cooperate, this will be the third Dragon flight to the space station this year and also the third cargo resupply mission with our upgraded Dragon. Following a successful launch, this Dragon will be joining the Crew-2 vehicle Endeavour, currently on orbit and attached to the International Space Station. For now, let's take a closer look at the vehicles out on the pad. On screen, on screen right now is a view of Dragon, and that is a view of Falcon 9 underneath it. It is a reusable two-stage rocket designed and manufactured by SpaceX. The bottom two-thirds of the vehicle is the first stage. Its objective is to accelerate the vehicle through the Earth's atmosphere to space and then separate from the rest of the rocket. This is going to be the fourth flight for today's first stage, which actually previously supported both the Crew-1 and Crew-2 missions for NASA. We are going to be attempting to recover the first stage again with our brand new drone ship uh, named a shortfall of Gravitas. Both stages are now pressurizing for launch. Uh, range and weather should both be good, good to go. Falcon 9, CRS-23, go for launch. That was the voice of the launch director verifying we are go. T-minus 30 seconds. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Take the ship and lift off. Cargo Dragon takes flight, continuing a busy year of deliveries to the crew of seven aboard the International Space Station. Succession, main engine cutoff, stage separation, first stage flip, second engine start one, and then the boost back burn on the second engine stage will begin. Main engine cutoff, also known as Miko, is where all nine M1D engines on the Falcon 9 first stage will shut down. This is followed by stage separation, or the separation of the first and second stages. From there, the first stage will flip to prepare for uh, re entry and landing a few minutes later. Um, and the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite to boost Dragon to low Earth orbit, and that's also known as SES-1. The first stage will then begin its boost back burn. Uh, that is the first of three burns needed to land on our drone ship today. The first of that, those five events, main engine cutoff, is coming up in about 10 seconds.
Man, did you cut off? Age separation confirmed. Impact ignition. Stage one, boost back burn startup. Okay, those were those five events. A lot happening on screen. Main engine cut off, stage separation. The first stage performed a flip. Uh, second stage on the right-hand side of the screen uh, ignited its Merlin vacuum engine. And on the left-hand side of the screen, we're in the middle of that first stage boost back burn. Looks like we are getting some really cool views. Um, jet all the way down to zero as the rocket lands. And again, this is our brand new drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. Um, this is gonna be the first time that we are making a, a landing attempt on it. And it's currently perched out in the Atlantic Ocean waiting for that first stage booster to return to it. Stage one, landing burn startup. A single engine, the center engine, engine number nine, has relit in preparation for landing. Stage one, landing leg deployed. Stage one, landing confirmed. Uh, and that is the 90th successful landing for an orbital class rocket and the very first for our new drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. That is a beautiful thing to see and a great way to start off today's mission.